So this question is based upon this table, which I'll just say it's a diagram question. More specifically, it's a table question. So in this table, we're given the names of four candidates and we're given the number of votes those four candidates would be expected to receive from 200 voters who have been polled. So question 15 says, if the information in the table were converted into a circle graph or pie chart, then the central angle of the sector for Gomez would measure how many degrees? So here's what we need to understand. So yes, it does mention a circle graph and a pie chart and all that, but here's what we have to understand. Knowing that the number of, having the number of votes does not tell me exactly how, what size each slice of pie should be. What I should do instead is say one circle is equal to 360 degrees. So that's like the total degree measurement of the circle. So when I look at the number of voters um, and the candidates here, when I look at Gomez in particular, Gomez received 40 out of 200 votes. The 40 out of 200, I can then say, well, that represents 20%, right? So that's going to be 0 0.20, which is 20% of the number of votes. So 20% of the number of the total number of votes in this table expe is expected to go to Gomez, which means in my pie chart, 20% of the 360 degrees should be dedicated to Gomez. So what is 20% of 360 degrees? Well, that's just multiplying 360 times 0 0.2, which is equal to, well, because first of all, anytime we're multiplying with percents, we always, always, always use the decimal form, right? Which is just moving the decimal to the left twice. We never use a percent form. We always use a decimal form. So 360 times 0 0.2 is 72. So for us, because this was 360 degrees, this is going to be 72 degrees. So all of that to say, I don't really go back and try to draw in the 72 degrees or definitely backtrack from there and try to draw in what's 50 uh, for the number of votes and what's 80 for the number of votes. There's no real way to know that immediately. I always go to the fact that a circle is 360 degrees. So whatever uh, proportion, whatever, you know, basically slice of pie out of that circle must be equivalent to the percentage that I care about, right? So again, that's why I found 20, that's how I found that 20% is what I care about and 20% of 360 is 72 degrees and therefore my answer is choice B.